In this video, we will be explaining the different behavioral diagrams. So with that, we'll get started. For a bigger context, we can see our nine system L diagrams types. And we will be focusing on just the activity, sequence, state machine, and use case diagram for this video, and when to use which behavioral type of diagram. So with the activity diagram, here's an example where we have activities and actions where they um, flow from one to another and we have some logic here and this is the most modular type of behavioral diagram. The sequence diagram that you're seeing here we have lifelines across the top and then as you move down the screen time progresses onward so one comes before two which comes before three and you can see we've got uh, some constraints of 20 minutes and two hours that you're seeing between different messages that have been sent and received. This diagram is best for when you're trying to determine or time box some sort of specific scenario that is related to time. The state machine diagram, as you see here, our context is the oscillating fan and we have different states in which you can uh, go from one to another. And when I would use this diagram type is for a very high level block and you could call many different lower level activities from the high level state machine. So for example, if I have an example activity diagram and I drag this on to one of my states, I could decide to do it upon entry and now once oscillate switches to static this activity will occur. So this is a good way that you can uh, call to many different other behavioral types of diagrams and still see what's going on for your system as a whole. So then we have the use case diagram that we're seeing here and this diagram is primarily used when you are in the inception phase or design phase of your system. If the system of interest in this case is the surveillance system and you are trying to determine what it is you want your system of interest or your surveillance system to do. And so once your project has pushed past the design phase, this behavioral type of diagram becomes less helpful. So all in all, Activity diagrams are the most flexible, so if you don't know which type of behavioral diagram to use, fall back on using the activity diagram. The use case diagram is a specific case for when you are early on in your design phase and you're trying to whiteboard what you want your system of interest to do. The sequence diagram is very dependent upon time. If you are trying to decide or determine how much time something takes, use a sequence diagram. And a state machine diagram is best used when you need to call a bunch of different other types of diagrams. It's kind of like your navigation page for your system of interest. So I hope that helps.